being a blue hen isn't for everyone because it's special, right? And there's a uniqueness to it. A blue hen is just an incredible amount of passion and a sense of you know, pursuing excellence in everything that we're doing. It's nothing to do with me. It has everything to do with the people in this place. And uh, it's what makes it special. We want to inspire our players to chase greatness. As a coach, you're always pushing your student athletes, give more, do more. We have to prepare them. We have to give them the intangibles to be successful. Not only student athletes, but building powerful people, future leaders for tomorrow. Well, it's a lot different today than it was <laughs> back when I came. I think the whole concept of student athlete and student athletics have changed a lot over the last 20 to 30 years. I think a lot of people saw it as an opportunity to get to college and then there was sort of no end game. The obvious part that the number of people who are actually going to make a living in their sport is very small. At least for me, it's always like, oh, of course, like I wanted to be a professional tennis player. You know, as I grew up, I also found I had other interests and you have sort of like this window of opportunity, which is a great window to experience right now, but sort of setting up to make you know, impacts in the world in terms of, you know, scientific or to be an entrepreneur. Yeah, I think it's definitely the student athlete and that student comes first, so. The key to this thing is to allow the university, in my opinion, to be able to move up to the next level of competition, to be able to bring in that type of student athlete. If you're trying to build a top-notch athletic program, you have to give them the facility and the infrastructure that's where the transformational gifts uh, from our alumni and friends body is going to help us uh, realize our vision for our new athletics complex. Yeah, when we get this performance center, get out of our way, right? I mean, honestly, what this performance center does, it just enables us you know, to do so many things in ways that we're just not capable of doing right now. When you think of one word, it's inclusive. It's not for just one sport, it's not sport specific whether it be for study hall, whether it be for therapy, whether it be for rehab, whether it just be just to hang out and get to know each other. Well, for recruiting, it's a game changer for us. If you were to look across our conference, we are the last ones to be doing anything around this. I would make a huge difference having the sense of unity and having the football team working with the tennis team, working with the softball team, and then also having the people that you know, make all this possible. We all become sort of a unit that are trying to re you know, reach the next level, reach the goals that we've set. Well, I think the commitment today is there. Now we need the financial support. This is our moment to have the comprehensive excellence, to be really intentional about everything that we're doing to be the very best we can be. It's the community. It's, it's that one team mindset. It's Delaware first. <laughs>